Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Push your man to talk it out like men. That's right. Talk it out like men. Fighting and doing things like that, that's an emotional trait. That's the trait of a woman. We are men. Remember again, thou shalt not advance nor bear any grudge against the, the children of thy people. God, you are God's chosen people. Bear grudge and vengeance against each other is, is, is hateful in the eyes of God. That's right. That's a sin in the eyes of God. All the hatred in Chicago is this at an all, high, all time high, man. We have to stop this hatred toward one another. We hate it by enough people. Uh, I just want to show you something. The girl was bringing out a uh, law of God, right? And uh, marriage and power. And there's another thing that God likes our sisters to dress a certain way. Because, like I said, you're supposed to be able to get to the younger sisters, right? Read that. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with shame faces and sobriety, not with broad hair or gold or pearls or costly array. You know what I'm in modest apparel, read it again. In like manner also, that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. So why do you think God wants his daughters to adorn themselves in modest apparel? They are questions. The scriptures say that they keep the question for granted. Now the thing is, with modest apparel, right, what is modest apparel? Modest apparel is not showing your shape. Because when he went into marriage, it's honorable. Your shape is only for your husband. Wow. It's, not for, it's not for every other man out here to see. Because when another man looks at a woman and he sees her shape, what's he going to do? He's going to lust after her. Yeah. And then what, what, what's on his mind then? Play a band, thank you, ma'am. Smash and dash. He's not, thinking, he's not thinking about the inner beauty of that woman. So when you trust yourself in modest apparel, now I may have to look at you differently. Treats you differently. As opposed to seeing a, uh, a woman out here in tights and a two top shirt, he gonna think she, um, he, he, he gonna think she's of a different spirit and deal with her a lot different. Because when you see a half dozen woman, how do you react to her? See a shape, right? Right. How do you react to a half dozen woman? This here is an example of that half-dressed woman. This is how you're going to treat this woman. Read. The book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 9. In the twilight and in the evening, in the black and dark night, and behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. And behold, there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot. So a woman that's half-dressed, she's dressed like a harlot. What's a harlot, my brother? No, we're going to keep it playing. The harlot is a hoe. So when they have dressed out there showing their shape, a man's going to look at them as being a hoe. And that's how they're going to approach them. And that's how they're going to treat them. But we, when a woman is dressed modestly, he's going to approach them differently because now it's something in her mind. He has to treat her mind. It's a totally different way. That's why God says that they must dress in modest attire. And um, modest attire is not showing this shape. Uh, it's the same thing, let's be cross-dressing. Did you know cross-dressing is in the Bible? Cross-dressing. You know what cross-dressing is? A man dressing like a woman and a woman dressing like a man. That's in the Bible too. We're going to show y'all that. Because there's a lot of things that we're not taught in the Christian church. A, a Christian church is not teaching us stuff in the Lord. But that's why we can't handle it. Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. 
neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abominations unto the Lord thy God. So, we're going to read that again. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment that you can see a man wear? Because a lot of men have been dressing this way. Come on, this is easy. Oh, it is, it's worse than that. They wearing dresses. They wearing skirts. You got uh, what's that, Big Mama? You got um, Martin Lawrence and uh, Big Mama and uh, what's that other one, Shanae Mae? You got um, Jamie Foxx. You got Tyler Perry. That's tr that's cross dress. A man is not supposed to put on something that pertains to a woman. Three. No. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. The woman should not wear that which pertains unto a man. So the woman shall not wear that which pertains unto a man. So if we know that the dress is for a woman and not a man, what does a woman wear that's for a man and not for her? You wear pants. When you wear jeans, jeans got a button and a zipper. Now we know what the zipper goes with the man. Why is there a zipper on these pants for women? And here's another example. When you go to the bathroom, how do you know if it's a man's bathroom or a woman's bathroom? Huh? There's a way that if it didn't say men or women, it just had a picture, how would you know? You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. Because the man has on pants and the woman has on a dress. Because you got to realize this. Back in the day, women didn't wear dresses. My grandmother, she never wore pants. I've never, ever seen her in pants. Because women didn't wear pants. That's something new. That's something created by man. But God says, Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth to a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So he said, everybody that cross dresses is an abomination to him. That's right. What is an abomination? Oh. Is that some good? No. You got that? You got what I want? The book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 13. The Lord hated all abominations, and they that fear the Lord love it not. You hear that? So God hates all abominations. Read it again. The Lord hated all abominations, and they that fear the Lord love it not. So them that fear God, they even love that abominable thing. The woman's not going to wear pants. Because, well, back in the day, they were called pet and on the front too. But now all we did was put a little extra material on them and call them leggings. All those are just something to wear up under your dress and your skirt. And that's you just in modest apparel, so every man can't see your shape. No man's gonna love to a woman who's showing up her shape to call the man to see it. Did you know that? Yeah. We'll call, put that in on uh, Matthew 5, maybe okay, 27. Hey, 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 sis, I want you to check out our information, check out our website. If you got any, any, any questions, give us a call, because we had to change the mindset of our people. Okay. All right? And keep them bringing back to God's law. Okay. These kids hope you ain't finna buy nothing. And see that's that see you knowing you knowing you is real, bro. You knowing you were supposed to prep yesterday. You were supposed to prep yesterday so you didn't have to buy today. Yeah, it is a research thing. That's why he told us to prep the day before. He gave us clear instructions on how we're supposed to move. Bro, we all had that stuff set up. That's why on Friday we get what we gonna get. So that we don't have to spend money on Friday. You got you got that's that's why you gotta change the mindset. You gotta prepare yourself. You gotta come around, bro. Get that uh Leviticus for you. You gotta come around, brother, so that we can help build you up and strip you in this fall. Because all of us had these baby stuff that we had to test with. All of us came from this, we, we all came from the same place. Struggling on how to do right. But once we start fearing God, we came around, we get built up and learn how to do that thing so that we can teach these children. Because you gotta teach 
the ones that come by faith. Three. The book of Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Speaking to the children of Israel and saying to them, concerning the peace of the Lord, which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocations, even these are my feasts. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest and holy convocations. Ye, ye shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. So we know it's a holy convocation that means we're going to be done. So we come out on the Sabbath to teach our people things that they don't know about the Bible and teach them who they are and that they have to repent of all these things. We do it and then we congregate to them because that's the commandment of all. That's the commandment of all. So with you knowing this already, you should have been making baby steps. Baby steps is calling us, getting in contact with us, and, and coming to the Sabbath. We got three classes. Three classes, girls classes at 10 a.m., late classes at 4, 4, 4 p.m. Come on. The book of Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. If, if the people of the land bring where of individuals on the Sabbath day to sell that we would not buy of it on the Sabbath day or on the holy day and that we would leave the seventh year in the exaction of every debit. All right, so right here it said that the people bring it to you. Verse 31. And if the people of the land, so the people of the land, of all these companies, right? Of all these companies. See right here, this is an example right here of how we hang out people. This is the hatred that we have with one another right here. Two of them This right here. This is what we do on a daily basis. And this here is what's going to lead to gun violence. This right here is going to lead to gun violence. This is why we come out here to, to uh, turn our people away from hating one another. Read that. The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. You hear that? We're not supposed to have any vengeance towards one another. That's the problem. That's one of the major problems we have here in Chicago. The hatred toward one another. Because one person lives on one block and another person lives on another block. That's, right. That's one level of hatred that we have. Then we have the hatred amongst ourselves living on the same block, envying one another. That's just levels of hatred. And we have to stop that. Read it again. Verse 18. Thou should not exist nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We should have any grudges against our brothers. We should not be talking out like men. We're the same people. We killing ourselves. We gotta learn to talk to one another to, uh, to end the grudge. So that there is no vengeance towards one another. To stop the violence in our communities. We gotta come together like the officer said. We all want that nation that desire. We don't need to be shot down and killed by the white man. We don't need to help them kill one another. We're really good. Thou shalt not advance nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. So the most like God says we gotta love our neighbor like ourselves. That's loving our brother like we love ourselves. We gotta stop the violence. Stop the stop the hatred toward one another. We gotta come together as people. We gotta see God in ourselves, man. Read it again. Thou shalt not advance nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. The children of thy people should so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are the Israelites, God's chosen people. You should have any grudge or business toward one another. Read it again. Thou shalt not advance nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. We should want to roll up somebody come and fight our brother. Somebody that looks just like us. We should be able to talk it out like men. That's right. Talk it out like men. Fighting and doing things like that, that's an emotional trait. That's the trait of a woman. We are men. We are men. Thou shalt not advance nor bear any grudge against the, the children of thy people. God, you are God's chosen people. Bear grudge and vengeance against each other. It's hateful in the eyes of God. That's right. That's a sin in the eyes of God. All the hatred in Chicago is just at an all-time high, man. We have to stop this hatred 
destroy one another. We hate it by enough people. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community.